there's nothing more relaxing than Sunday morning with the family. Wouldn't you agree, Cornelius? Yes, without question, Baba. <laughs> without question. Father? Yes, Flora? The glue won't glue. It will in a minute, dear. Father? Yes, Flora? The sticks are too long. Then try shortening them. Father? Yes, Flora? Now the sticks are too short. Can you fix them, Papa? It's all yours, Cornelius. Yes, quite so, Baba, quite so. Hmm. Now, now, Flora, what's the problem? Today is Kite Flight Sunday, and I want my kite to be the first in the air. That's important, is it? To me, it is. Well, for starters, nothing is worth doing unless you do it right. And at the rate you're going, this kite won't even get off the ground. But... <laughs> All it takes is a little care, Flora. I learned that the hard way. I was just a boy and about to take on my first big challenge as king. Can't you see it, Cornelius? Our very own city. Oh, you're magnificent, Baba. Not to mention spectacular and uh, splendiferous. You couldn't have picked a more perfect location. I've made so many plans. Not only will it protect us from the likes of the hunter, but it will be just like the big city I visited, with lots of monuments and buildings, hospitals, homes, and libraries, and our very own palace. It's very impressive, Baba. Yeah, but are you certain this type of city is suitable for elephants? Sure. I want our subjects to have the very best. Everyone deserves a decent home with a solid roof over their heads. Precisely why I've come to see you, sire. Announcing the very first in my series of pachyderm public opinion polls. Following an exhaustive series of evaluations, I have found that 99.9% .9 of the polling public are 100% behind the building of the city. Very encouraging. Yes, thank you, Papa. Providing but, uh, that they are able to move in before the monsoons begin. The monsoons? They're only three months away. <laughs> no, Pompadour. Then might I offer a suggestion, sire? Three words. All possible speed. Finish the city as fast as you can and the public will sing your praises. Good point. Yeah, but, Baba, I'm not certain we can build such a city in just three short months. Another good point. Forgive me for pointing this out, sire, but at this point you'll have to point out which point you'd like to act on. After all, you are the king. Well then, as king, I must give my public what they want. So I'll do my best to finish the city before the rains come. We can start as soon as we get the building supplies we ordered. Where could they be? Ah! Right here, Baba. Madame! Oh, I missed you so much. And I, you. I've got so much to tell you. A lot has happened since I left the city. I can see that, King Baba. I'm so proud of you. Madame! Madame! Arthur Celeste, how wonderful to see you again. Uh, <clears throat> oh, allow me to introduce my friends. Cornelius, my royal advisor, and Pompadour, the royal minister of protocol. Pleased to meet you. The pleasure is all ours, madame. All your supplies are there, Baba. Everything you'll need to build a grand and proper city. Thank you. Can you stay for a while? Well, I would love to help. It's settled then. Now I'm sure we can finish the city on time. We'll be done before the first raindrop falls. Yay! <laughs> I then set about the task of assigning titles and positions to everyone, each to reflect what they did best. OK, does everyone have an occupation? Yes, yes sir! sir! Then let's build our city! <laughs> But not all were happy about our plans for the city. Far off in Rhinoland, Lord Retaxus was fuming. King Babar! Ha! Who does he think he is? I'll show him who's king around here! I am the strongest! I am the best! I am... Lord Retaxus! Ah. 
It's Basil bearing big news. Hmm. All right, let's hear it, but make it fast. If you insist, Your Highness. I have it on good authority that Babar and his congenial court are trashing the tradition of having homes and huts by putting up a palatial palace surrounded by brand new buildings arranged in a pleasing pattern, thereby creating a new and nicer neighborhood in which their subjects can live. <sighs> He's calling it a city. A city? He can't do that. If Babar's subjects get to have a city, then mine will want one too. You give that kind of luxury to the people and pretty soon they'll start to expect it. And well they should. Lady Retaxis! I think what Babar is doing is wonderful. It's high time we rewarded our loyal subjects' loyalty. And what better way than to build them their very own city? Wouldn't a nice card suffice? Nonsense! It'll be fun! But, my lady, I don't know the first thing about building buildings. Oh, I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. Ta-ta! Ta-ta! Quick, Basil, advise me. It's very simple, sir. Anyone that can build a city first will go down in jungle history as the rhino that raised the standard of living for the entire animal kingdom. Lord Retaxis, the father of civilization. Very stirring. I'll do it. The weeks turned quickly into months, and slowly the city began to take shape. Unfortunately, not as quickly as I had promised. And as the monsoon rains drew ever closer, I began to fear that I had bitten off more than I could chew. King Baba, the roads are falling behind schedule. King Baba, someone's been pilfering the supplies. Um... King Baba, the Arc de Triumphant just fell down. King Baba, what shall we do? I really didn't figure on all these delays. We'll never finish this city at this rate. Might I make a suggestion, sire? Three words. Quantity over quality. But, Baba, compromising our city isn't the answer. Nothing is worth doing unless you do it right, you know. I'm sorry, Cornelius, but I have to try something. <sighs> we can save a lot of time by cutting back on all these hand-carved roof columns, these extra windows, and by asking our workers to speed up. An excellent idea, sire. And so the race was on. We did everything in our power to speed up the building of our city. And for a time, we were doing quite well. That is, until the taxes came along. Due to his incessant pilfering of our building supplies, it seemed that for every step we took forward, we took two steps back. And with the monsoon rains looming ever closer, I found myself cutting more corners than ever. Hurry! Work faster! I'm falling behind schedule! Quick, quick! Hurry! 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 There was a point where it seemed we could do nothing right. The urgency of the situation weighed greatly on me. No time for games. A little more. Okay, drop it. Close enough. How are things going, Baba? Too slow, I'm afraid. Rome wasn't built in a day, you know. Yeah, but they didn't have the monsoons to worry about. All I'm asking is that you slow down. Take a break and play with your friends. It will do you a world of good. I'm sorry, madame, but I've got no time to play. It's going to rain. Well, I'll play around a monkey in the middle with you. I'm afraid Barbar is much too busy with his city. And I'm afraid at this pace, it's not going to be much of a city after all. Not what it could have been anyway. <laughs> I'll get it! I 
Panther. Run and get help right away. <laughs> Dr. Kapaloos, please say she'll get better. I wish I could, Babar. The only known antidote for snake bites is the juice from the juju plant. Very rare in these parts, I'm afraid. But we have to do something. We're doing everything possible. Animals everywhere are combing the jungle for a juju plant right now. And if they don't find one? Oh, how could this happen? <laughs> there, there, Baba. If only I... Come along now. No! Let me stay with her, please? Forgive me for sounding callous, sire, but... What about the city? You will have to continue without my help. My place is here. As you wish. <laughs> oh, what will I do without you, madame? What will I do? The thought of losing Madame worried me so, and I drifted off into an uneasy sleep. I dreamt of a world where all my mistakes had gathered to haunt me. I found myself face to face with a beast of my own creation. The beast of misfortune. And soon to follow was the beast of haste. There was nothing I could do to escape the beasts, and I found myself trapped by them at every turn. What will I do? I can't run, I can't hide. gave me the strength to stand and face my problems. And as a reward for my bravery, I was visited by the winged elephants of intelligence, patience, wisdom, courage, and hope. With them at my side, I felt I could do anything. And with their support, I chased the beasts away. Project while I'm gone. Uh, uh, gone? Gone where? Try to get as much as you can done before I get back. I want Madame to see something beautiful when she wakes up. But Baba, where are you going? To Rhino Land! Finally, there was hope, and I set off into the jungle in search of the taxis. It's a tacky tyrant who blames his tools. Yeah! <laughs> Keep trying, sir. What for? I'll never beat Babar at this rate. 
They've got plans and everything. What have we got? High hopes, Your Highness. High hopes. Basil! So this is where our supplies got to? These supplies are ours, Elephant. Basil found them fair and square. I'm not here for the supplies, Retaxis. The word in the jungle is that you have a juju plant. The antidote for speckled snake bite. I need it right away. The snake bit a dear friend of mine. She's very sick. Hey, I'm sorry to hear that, Babar. But that antidote doesn't come cheap, you know. I'll give you anything. Just name it. The city plans. Ask for his plans. All right, Elephant. In exchange for my plant, I want your plans. And all the supplies we can carry. Okay, Retaxis, you've got yourself a deal. History books, here I come. I need that plant now, Retaxis. I've got no time to lose. Dr. Kapalus, how long before the antidote takes effect? Very soon, Babar. She'll be up and around in no time. Ah, that was a wonderful thing you did, Babar. Believe me, that trade with Retaxis was a bargain. I'd give up a thousand cities for her. Everyone out now. She needs her rest. It took a while, but we did it. Now remember, we still have a few minor details. Yes, 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 I understand. Now, let me see our palace. <gasps> it's beautiful. I beat Babar and secured my place in history, all in one week. Ah, it just doesn't get any better than this. back to the drawing board and designed a beautiful surprise for Madame. <gasps> I hope you like it. I designed it myself, just for you. Oh, me? Well, I was kind of thinking that if you wanted, I would really like you to stay. Oh, Baba, I would love to stay. Well then, let me show you your house. It's wonderful. It was the only building we could finish on time. Ah, uh, shades of a grand city to come, hey, Baba? In due time, Cornelius. Retaxis can have that big old city. We're going to build a city that's for the elephants, by the elephants. I know now that anything else just wouldn't be right. Good for you, Baba. But it'll take some time. Oh, that reminds me, sire. I have here the final findings on my pachyderm public opinion poll. Must you, Pompadour? Oh, yes, sire. I must. In a unanimous opinion, 100% of the polling public would prefer to take the extra time to build a proper city, suitable for elephants of all sizes. Well, I guess a little rain never hurt anyone. And so, all was right in our world again. The problems of the past few weeks seemed to wash away with the rains. And my only concern was choosing a proper name for our city. You named it Celesteville, didn't you, Papa? After Mama. I certainly did. But I had to finish the city first. And that time, I took the care to do it right. Does that story work for everything? <laughs> Even kites. Thanks, Papa. Come on, Flora. Let's fly it. Have fun. I say, Baba, that was an exhilarating story. You should really commit it to paper someday. It could make excellent reading.